Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Today we'll continue working on our stunning collar. It's so stunning that I'm starting to worry that I'll get outshined by it. Now pay attention to the table. Here we have the draft. I'm sure you remember it. It's just a coat, but I want it to have a long midsection. This begs the question of the amount of fabric needed, and I want to be clear. I have two one and three quarter meter pieces with me. That makes 3.5 meters in total. I could take them and fold them twice and not roll them like we normally do, but our leaf pattern is one-sided, meaning that it looks in one direction. So I had to cut it in half, flip one half over and make the pattern face the same direction on both fabric pieces. So I have three and a half meters here. What I'd like to say, I laid out the collar as if I were cutting it whole, but actually the thing about this collar is that its layers make it stand up. So it doesn't just fall flat, but it lifts up in a really majestic way. So of course I will sew a lining here. That's why I'm not using this fabric for the second half of the collar, and I can actually manage with just 3.5 meters. However, if you pretend to cut the whole collar out of this fabric, you'll need 3.8 meters. I also have about almost 90 centimeters from the waistline down. I cut 85 and added an extra five for the hem. That said, I have a really long midsection. Some will cut it shorter, so I'd suggest measuring on a draft first. My coat will also have a slit. It also requires five extra centimeters of fabric. So in short, I laid out the front like this so you can see how it would look if we cut the collar in one piece. But we won't be using this part now because we'll cut it out from the lining fabric. And we have the side and the back with the slit. Here, we'll have both sleeves. And I also have a facing here that will go from the waistline down, and it's wide, 13 centimeters. And as you can see, I use the fabric rather irrationally, right? What a madhouse this is. So anyway, the facing. Now, it's my job to cut out the side and the collar and show it to you, and then I'll get down to the back and the sleeves, and then we'll start assembling with Natasha. She already cut out this piece of lining, so we'll sew it right here. So let's begin. Let's tidy things up a bit. I'll start with this side. I already marked the five extra centimeters. Let's add two centimeters on the sides, just in case. You stay safe however you need. If you don't have such a long midsection as me, you won't need this much fabric. So, what you may need to do is cut out this pattern on some other fabric and measure it out. Now pay close attention. I don't add any extra fabric to this section. We don't need it. As always, a centimeter of shoulder seam. A centimeter of the center back. And 0.7 millimeters right here. I'll continue to cut like this. And we'll do a notch here right away because the fabric is really thick. A centimeter here and 0.7 on the back of the neck. 
This is the shoulder one. Here's where we'll sew our lining. This will be the shoulder facing. In my case, the collar will start from the waistline. I think we'll do the side, and then we'll do the sleeves and the back behind the cameras. It's not rocket science. We'll just lay down the pattern and cut it out. And then we'll show you how we assemble the collar. Now here's the side, which consists in half of the collar. Here's where it bends over, just like this. This is the shoulder seam. This is the center back. This is how it'll look. Really beautiful, I can tell. I'm really looking forward to it. I've marked the waistline. Okay, I'll draw the dart right away. Okay, I have marked the waistline, the center front, with some pins on it. We'll need to tack the center of the front. It's really troublesome when you put it on the piece and you don't know where the center of the front is. I'll transfer the dart now. And it's really easy from now on. We'll show you. We'll do this together with Natasha. And I'm already looking forward, not just for the fitting, but for the final product. I'm thinking to myself, God, when will it be finished? This coat will be quite fitted. Well, we'll see. If I want it to be more fitted, I will correct it. I think we're making a really wonderful coat. For starters, I love the colors themselves. Okay, the darts are all ready on both sides, the center front, just on one. I want to finish all the preparation work with the side and start working on the back and the sleeves. I'll cut them out behind the cameras. I transfer the front center to the other side. Let's pin it right away.
Now I'll have the dart and the center front sewn, and meanwhile I'll cut out the back and the sleeves. So I handed the side to the atelier. They're sewing the darts and the center front right now. And I have cut the back out. Here's the extra five centimeters I added for the slit. And here's the double sleeve. I'm tacking the center back. I want all of you who are making a slit to pay attention. You need to tack it on one side, just to mark a straight line over here. And then you can sew it. Since I won't be sewing it myself, I'm going to tack it now, and the girls will do the rest. On the back, we have the center back and the shoulder darts. The fabric, so you know, it's really thick. I'm going to tack it till the end, and then we'll start putting the whole coat together. Take a look at the table. I'll tell you what we've done so far. We've sewn the chest and the shoulder darts, also the back center and the side seams, and there we have the bottom of the coat. But we haven't started working on the shoulders or the collar. Here. I've cut out and sewn the lining, half of the collar here. So, I have one side with this piece attached. Let me show you. Each of the sides ends up like this. These two parts are identical, so you have to pay attention now, because we're going to assemble them now. I didn't want to bog down the video with the sewing of the sides, the bottom hem or the center back, because it isn't that interesting. We've done this a thousand times. The shoulders and the collar, though, we're going to examine them closely. First, let's get the shoulders on my side. Let me remind you that the shoulder starts right here. We made a notch so that we don't forget. So this point should coincide with the start of the back shoulder. Here's the armhole. Here's the end and the start of the shoulder. Let's assemble the shoulders now. Like this. Now you'll see. Let's just tack them real quick. When you do this process, the order of your actions will be really clear. Now, it may look a bit confusing. We're not paying attention to our stunning collar at the moment. We're just joining both shoulders. And the first one is done. Look, that's our shoulder. I'll do the second one right away. Before we start with the new steps, let's leave the stunning collar for later. Yes, here's the shoulder. It's not a long piece because we didn't intend for it to be lowered in any way, and also we transferred two centimeters of the shoulder at the beginning, so it's not really big in the end. Our second shoulder is ready. Let's proceed. The collar. 
It will be folded in half and 10 centimeters long. We'll sew it to the center back. Normally, it's kind of folded from the start, but we have it extended right here. So it's 20 centimeters and not 10 like we want it to be. We're just going to stitch it together. Take a look at how it will be, and then we'll sew it to the back of the neck right here. The shoulders, the back of the neck, and the collar center. Nothing difficult at this point. Just sew these two pieces together. I remember one time a commission came in and I told one of our seamstresses, let's make a mind-blowing blouse. She sewed and sewed and then said to me, Irina, I'm losing my mind. I hope we don't get to that point and still come up with a stunning collar. Of course, when we get to the proper assembly, we'll make some minor adjustments. We'll iron it flat, cut out all the corners and so on. We're going to make it pretty. For now, this is what we have. Take a look. We have the shoulders, the collar center, which is going to fold, and the neck back which will also come together. As usual, we'll sew the one-piece collar to the back of the neck. This stitching right here, nothing difficult at this point. This is how our collar looks, right here. If this wasn't a seam, but a fold, we would just bend the collar like this. But we have a seam because I wanted some trimming. And as you can see, we have the same exact collar center on the inside. We'll stitch it now, but you can see how everything falls in its right place. This line is going to be part of the facing and we'll sew the actual facing right here and it'll come down from here. But for now, we'll just stitch it this here, and also this part on the other side. It will go here, on the front part of the shoulder seam. This is the line where the facing ends and the lining is sewn. As you can see, we already added the lining fabric. You'll understand when we do it. The next phase is to sew together this part as we did with the other one. Everything will start coming together when we sew it to the neck back. I'm taking it slowly so you can understand better. Let's see what we have. This is the back of the neck. I'll make some notches. And this is the other half. I'm going to pin them together. Look closely. I'm not going to stitch them together. Just pin them and close up the back of the neck right away. Great. We're still not done with the back. We'll come back to it later.
So, a quick review. We stitched the shoulders and then we assembled the collar center and the inside part of it. And then we stitched it to the back of the neck. I think it's really clear up to this point. Remember, we have here the detail from the inside of the collar that is part of the facing. So we'll do this, and also sew it to the shoulder seam. I'll turn it around and show you everything. I was so sick and tired of the same old monotonous coats, just unbearable. I wanted something fresh and beautiful like this. The collar is the most important part of this outfit, really. The rest is just a regular coat. In short, we've sewn the shoulders, joined both sides of the collar to the back, and stitched these little parts to the shoulder. I don't want to stitch this right now. I'll just pin it on the side so I can take the pins out later. This is the edge where the lining will be sewn. This is the line of the edge and the lining. I'll show it to you in a second. a little notch. We are getting really close to the end of the process. And again, this is the back of the neck. You already know that I've sewn the collar to the neck back and also the lining. The collar is doubled here, so I'm going to sew the upper part to the back as well. The girls at the workshop are already trembling, saying, Irina, you'll see that now we're going to get a lot of stunning collar commissions. Of course, if you're going to make it wholly out of fabric, not like me, I recommend you really pay attention to the loose threads and work really meticulously. Everything needs to be done carefully. I'm sewing it to the back of the neck, just exactly like I did before. One thing is to do this in the workshop, but it's really different to do it on camera. I'm trying to highlight every moment. Look what I've done. See how I closed this right here? Now I cover this piece with this one. So this is the facing. I have one on the upper part and then another one. And look at that, a third one, three layers. 
The fourth layer is the coat itself. I also sew this part where I have the facing. Maybe some of you thought I'd had the lining facing here. And yes, there are two of them, but they are on the inside. We'll take another close look when we're finishing stitching. This is how the shoulder seam looks. This is the edge of the facing, and pay attention here. For now, until we have the lower part of the facing, we need to stitch this at a straight angle to the edge of the hem. All of this. Everything is folded in half. We have the coat, the facing that goes into the collar, and also this piece in between them. And of course, when we get to the sewing, we'll iron it out and level it correctly and so on. We're just tacking it for the time being. All these layers will be sewn together to the lining, and the inner ones will stay inside. I think not only am I tired, but also the camera crew from filming such a long video. Remember, we had this part pinned down. I'll tack the layers at the edge a little bit, and look how nicely this thing looks. Amazing. Take a look here. This was cut out like a regular wing collar, only with four layers, so we could get this opening right here. In the end, this is how our facing and collar look. We still don't have the lower part of the facing, but it will be there. It goes to the shoulder. This is how it looks from the back. And here's our collar. This is how it looks from the front, the shoulder seam, and the collar. Now look, here's the best part. We can go all the way through the collar just like this. It's open so that it has this amazing loop going. And let's do the fitting. Now, this is the first fitting. It's just tacked enough to try it on. It still isn't properly sewn. Look, take a look at how this huge collar makes me look thinner and smaller. I'm impressed myself. We were discussing it right now, and we all agree that it's a really big effect. The sleeves are just pinned, of course. The fabric, of course, looks simply delightful. You can lift it like this, and this is how it looks from behind. There will be a slit here, and I want to talk a little about the collar. As I have a seam here, I can raise this edge a little bit, three or four centimeters, no more. If you have a non-trimmed one piece, this will be more difficult because we need a straight line and a fold, but I will lift this edge a little bit. However, the collar will start here, like a decorative piece. I also like it like this, to be honest. I think the result will be spectacular. It will have four buttons and two pockets on the seams. I really like the length. 
And throughout the video, I was thinking what shoes to wear. And in the end, I picked these gold shoes. I think they really fit. I'm really happy with the length. It's a really long coat. I think the collar really looks good with this length. I wish you success in your work. We ended up with a long video. We were working on the collar a lot of the time. I wish you the best of luck on the troublesome endeavors of making something stunning like this. Click the like button and share our videos on social media. Subscribe to our channel, write comments and buy our courses. Thank you for watching. All the best from Irina Paukste and the rest of our team.